Hi, I'm SoCal Honey Badger, and that was my intro. All right, guys, here we go. Rambo trailer. Let's check it out. Let's see what's up. I'm trying to get hype. I'm trying to get excited. I'm already coffeeed up. Woke up, had to like not look at any social media or anything. I don't want any spoilers. This is legit. My first reaction. Look, I barely even have my microphone cable up and ready. So that way everything is uh, you know, only up and up. So let's uh let's check it out, guys. He's not gonna kill Kotal Khan this time. Taking you off the board. Give it your best shot, soldier. Out of here. It'll be right between the eyes. Oh, that sounds like Fight. Stallone. That definitely sounds like Stallone. Okay. Okay. He grabs strings into a restand. Oh, there's a slide. Oh, he's got the potato sack. Oh, what the hell? He's got the trip wire? Oh, wow, that's cool. That's cool. Okay, he looks like he's got a lot of mids. He's got rolls. Of course, they had to have him fight the Terminator. Is that his up three? Okay. All right. He's got his guns. A lot of grabs. I think this uh, he has a grab variation. Okay. He's got a bomb. Ooh! That was fucking dope! Yes, he did it. Fatality. Okay, I was like, Rambo "Yo, he wins. better have the throat rip." Okay, I'm satisfied. He has the throat rip. I was like, "He has to have that. He better fucking have that." How much of this video left? What is left? This is all this shit that we've already seen. Skin pack. Yeah, okay, anyways, shut the fuck up, pause it. Throat rip fatality. I was like, if he doesn't have that, I'm going to be fucking pissed. That was the coolest part of, what was that, Rambo 5? It was like one of the best parts, so I was like, yeah, he's got to have that. Looks like he's got a lot of mids and a lot of grab string and thing, like Nightwolf or, uh, you know, like Shao Kahn's 4-3-4 four, four into a grab. It looks like he's got, like, strings that go into grabs. Let me, uh, let's, let's take a look at some of this again and uh call it like we see it yeah 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 okay all right Fight. Uh, that looks like a very very slow mid but it uh looks like it, adva it advances pretty far it's like he did that like he backed up and then walked back to uh the position he was at at the start of the round and did that move so it looks like at the start of the round he he can he can hit you with that. It looks like it's far enough or long range enough to do so. It looked like it had pretty decent range. Like there's round one fight, backs up, and then goes right back to where he was and then does it. So he's got a pretty good advancing. It looks like a mid, but it could I could see them making that a high as well. It's kind of slow, but the range is pretty good. So, you know, that looked like a, a throw string. It looked like Cabal's forward four grab, right? Where he knees you and then hits you with the hook and then throws you or kicks you away. It looked like that. It was like a, a move into a grab. It actually looked like a pretty, pretty fast mid. That move, that, that kick, that looked pretty fast. Um, could, be, could be a solid mid. Um, looks like he, he ends it with that string, though. So it could end up being a situation like Cabal, 
where like he has a fast mid but he can't really stagger it because it only leads to a grab um that would be disappointing if that was just the way like if that was as fast as mid and that's like all he gets off of it like he can't stagger it into a string be a little bit disappointing but i mean like cabal does fine with that sort of thing um having his best mid or his fastest mid be something like that um and cabal does okay so we'll see how that works for rambo <laughs> certainly looks cool i like that it restands that might be a special move maybe he's canceling that into a special move but i don't know because like he did that kick into the grab and Cabal was still standing. You usually can't, can't uh, combo into special move grabs unless they're juggled. So that's why I think that that's a string, uh, like a grab string, because that's the only way to combo into grabs on a standing opponent. But it did re-stand him. So I'm wondering if he could incorporate that in juggles to just generally have a re-stand, right? So like if his re-stand was just a normal string, then that means he, he would have that in almost every variation and he could restand you meterless like anywhere on screen as long as he could land that first kick like if he juggled you right let's see oh. like say he juggled you right and hit you with that he could restand you off of any launch uh, meterlessly i imagine this is going to be a variation thing though he's going to be like like again like night wolf and uh kano it looks like he'll have a variation with extended strings that end in grabs and i think that that's how that's gonna pan out uh, what else what else show me some more okay, that looked like just a a really stumpy mid it just looked like he had a really like slow stumpy mid I wonder if that's an overhead. That could be his short hop. That could be his short hop kick. Like his short hop is that drop kick, but they just did it fast enough to where you don't see him short hop. Do we see him short hop? Let's see if we see him short hop. No. It, like unless they did it very, very fast to where you don't see the short hop, I think that might just be like a forward four or something, like some just oddball random move. Uh, looks like it could be an overhead. So, there's that. Okay, he's his arrows look fast, but it doesn't look like he can delay them. Uh, so, I think that's what's going to separate him from Nightwolf, is that I don't think he can delay him. He just kind of shot off two really, really fast arrows, which is about how fast like a meter burn arrow would come from Nightwolf. So I think they just made his projectile faster than Nightwolf's and he can't uh, delay it and cancel it like Nightwolf to separate him from Nightwolf. At least that's what it looks like to me so far. That slide is cool. Any meter burned it for an extra hit, so I'm imagining that his slide is a special move. Um... I'm wondering if it I'm wondering if this is a variation thing like he has this slide into this meter burn uh, extender right where he punches him with that. So I'm wondering if that's like a, a special like Calcano has strings that he can uh, uh, amplify to the, that what is that F two four grab he can amplify it for a combo. I'm wondering if Rambo is gonna have a, a string that's amplifiable um, or if that's an actual special move because if it's an actual special move then that means he could have mix up potential if he's got special or strings that end in overheads and then he's got that slide he can cancel into slide um and then meter burn off of the mix up uh it does look kind of slow it doesn't look like you're going to be catching too many people unaware and you see that 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 looks like uh shang Tsung's like reptile slide like, it doesn't come out that fast. He kind of, like, lays down and then slides. Um, so if it is a special move, I, th I think that that's going to be... If he's got if he's going to try and use that for mix-ups, I think it's going to be quite reactable. Um, but, I mean, we live in a world where all the tournaments are online, so reactable doesn't really mean a whole lot. Otherwise, Aaron Black would just not do much. Right? Anyways. 
Okay, this looks like that grab. I like how he throws him in a trap. I like that too. Okay, so he didn't amplify either of those. So it looks like this variation is like that tripwire is like a stance. Because it had the same startup animation, but he did it one way and it just knocked him down. And then he did the same move and then that time it picked him up, right? It looked like basically the same animation it didn't look all that different right you see this animation right he just kind of lays down throws the rope okay and then he does it again no actually those are two different animations they are two different animations so they are two different moves it's not a stance thing he's doing two separate moves it looks like he's kind of gonna like this is the zoning variation because it looks like those have long range and they're actually kind of fast for how much range they are so it looks like he's going to be, like, zoning you with tripwires. That's kind of cool. And he's got this crawl. Now I'm wondering if that crawl is a move, right, where he just crawls and then grabs your foot and then stabs you and punches you, or if it's a stance. Or if it's something like Sindel uh, Variation 2, her walk. Where, like, she doesn't have much out of it, but it's still considered a stance because she can either, like, let the scream go or cancel it. Um, so, like, that could, it could be that, like, where he just crawls forever. And then if you press a certain button, he'll do the grab and then you could probably cancel it. He didn't do any canceling or anything. So, it could also just be one special move. Like, he's just crawls and then when he gets close to you, he does the move and, uh, it wouldn't be a stance or something like that. It's hard to tell from that because um, we don't see much out of it. We just see him crawl and then hit him. Okay, that looked like his jab string launches. So that overhead from Cabal I think is in the... I think it's like minus 15 to 20. I don't know exactly what it is minus. I know it's jab punishable for full combo um so that looks like it was his jab string that leads into a launch because he kind of hits you with his left hand or his front punch front punch um into a launcher that's kind of good i mean joker has that um i don't know who else can get a launch off of their jab string right doesn't look like it was a jab, though. That looked like a little bit slower than, like, 7 to 9 frames, which is where most standing jabs fall. Most of them are 7 to 9 frames. That looked a little slower. That looked like maybe, like, 10 to 12 frames. If that's the case, it didn't look like a mid. It looked like a high. It looked like a high because he socks him right in the jaw. Well, it looks like a 10 to 15-ish frame high, give or take. I don't know. I'm not frame counting right now. I'm just making rough estimates. So, f like, don't get on me about that. So that is probably his command grab special. He comboed into it, landed it off a juggle, uh, so that... And then amplified it. So that looks like that's going to be his command grab special. It has a side swap to it. I'm wondering if he can change the side on it. Like uh, Um But it remains to be seen. It looks like that's going to be his go-to ender in that variation. And it's a grab that side swaps. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that if he can't choose the direction. Okay, what was that? Some sort of mix-up. It looks kind of like Johnny Cage's forward, too. Might be a high. Might be a high. I could see them making that a mid, but that would be a weird-looking mid. Uh, looks looks like that might be a high, like a forward, two or something. Looked a little on the slow side, um, but it, it, it's hard to gauge in a game where we may have Oki. Right, because the last video we saw with Rain, we have Oki now, um, or we have wake up options. So maybe something that slow could be a good wake up move, but he does it 
Like, if it's a high, I don't know if that's a good wake-up move. It might just be something in the trailer to show off, like, the animations. I don't know if I'd be throwing a high out on wake-up, even with the changes to wake-up that we're probably going to be getting. That looks like his forward... That was his forward grab, right? Because we already saw the back grab. So that's his forward grab. He's got crushes on forward grab. Uh, remains to be seen if that's like the generic, uh, you know, tech wrong grab. Um, so we'll see about that. We'll see. Here, let's see what this... Alright. So again... I don't know if that's a special move. Does he just have a command roll? It does. It looks like he's got a command roll. It looks like that's a special move that he did. Because this kick... No, it's not the same kick as the la the beginning. Let me see. Is it the same kick? No, it's, it's not the same kick. It's a different kick. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because that other kick in the beginning, he kicks him like kind of in the torso. And then that one is like a kick to the face. And then he cancels it immediately into that roll. So I'm wondering if the roll is a command roll stance or if that's just the move. Like, because Nightwolf has that roll that leads to a move. Um, so I'm wondering if that's what that is. If that's a, a roll that's a stance that leads to that last end ending hit. Or if that's just the whole move, it's in, in it's it ah, ah, whole move in its entirety. Okay, that looked like a really good move. That was some pretty beefy range for a punch. A little on the slow side, but it's got nice range. Here's what Rambo looks like when he gets beat up. So that was his up three. That's his up three. He rolls back on his up three. That's going to be really good. Um, because, like, 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 Scorpion's up three is good because he moves forward by a lot. It's really hard to, uh, to bait it out and, like, punish an up three. Usually you have to neutral jump and, like, catch him whiffing under you. Because it's hard to, like, space it out. Because if you're far enough to where you know it will whiff, he's probably not going to do it. That one, he does it in place and then rolls back, which is really, really cool. Um, I mean, it's going to suck because of that long recovery if he does it in the corner. But in open space, it's like basically his up three is a back roll. Like He has them both at the same time. Like, why would Rambo ever use back roll in that case when he could just do up three? I don't know how punishable it is. Um, that is kind of long recovery. So, like, maybe if you block the up three, you can chase him down and punish it. Looks like it. Um, and then he just pulls guns out of the ground. So, that looked like just a regular special move off of that roll. He spent the bar. He spent... The, I wonder if he has... If that's part of his up three. No, he was fully recovered from the up three. And then he spends a bar and he gets the guns. I'm wondering what he spent that bar on. Because it was at the startup of the move. Right? It wasn't like he did a move and then burned it. And then it, like, finished with that animation. Like, he did it at the startup of the move. So, I'm wondering what that move is without amplifying. If Because he, he picks up both of the guns at the same time. So, I'm wondering if he just does, like, a little quick spray. And then, it, like, if you amplify it, he does all these hits. Okay. Punish. Okay, so it looks like another string into a grab. Uh, I imagine, because that didn't look like the special move grab. I imagine he's going to have a lot of them. He's wearing a different costume, which is usually how they let us know in the trailer that it's a different variation. So I wonder if he's just going to have a lot of those to where they're different in each variation. Or if that's just going to be a universal thing to him, that every variation is going to have those string into grab setups. That's kind of cool. It looks like this var that variation, the one that's fighting Aaron Black, is going to be the anti-zoning zoner, right? Because all of his traps, look, like they all have like long-ass range, and they kind of have like weird evasive properties, like he's crouching or he's crawling, and then he hits you with this long-range trap. 
So it looks like the trap variation is the zoning variation. Maybe that's just a string. Wait a minute. That was that same kick. I wonder if that kick is a special move. The drop kick? Mm, nah, it, was, it looked a little different than the other one. It, that looked like it led for into, like his, the animations led into that drop kick, and the other one just looked like a standing drop kick. So I think he just has two drop kicks. One is at the end of a string, and one that you can do by itself. But it does give you a nice, long, sliding knockdown. And I do like I do like that he's got that little trap thing that comes out pretty quick. Like that's not like Aaron Black's trap where it takes forever to set up. Like that's actually kind of quick because he gets that out during Cabal's wake up, right? Cabal's knocked down and then he gets the trap out, and then like Cabal is up, right? Watch this. He gets the trap out. Like if he got the trap out and he recovered right at the same time, Cabal stands up. Right? Like, he, he recovers at the same time. Uh, it was a little bit. It was like a couple of frames after. All right? But not much. It was... He recovered a little bit later than Cabal, but not by much. Not to... The, like, maybe someone with a... Like, Cassie Cage with a fast low projectile could interrupt that on Wake Up. But it looks like if he spaced it right and ends it with the right knockdown, he could, uh, he could get that trap out, basically, for... Not for free, but it looks like he could get it out safer. Because um, Cabal's, he does Nomad Dash. And that's kind of slow. Like, it just, like, it starts up slow, and then when it goes, it goes really fast. So it looks like, like, someone like Cabal, who has a slow projectile and, like, you know, Nomad Dash and stuff, won't be able to interrupt that and punish it. I don't know about someone like Liu Kang or Sub-Zero with really, really fast advancing moves or someone like Cassie with a fast projectile. Um, so that that Trap's kind of got the gears running. There might be a lot of stuff he can do with that. It's it, it's still slow, but it it's fast for what traps are. Like most characters that have traps, they're really freaking slow stupidly slow that one looks like something that you can actually get out on screen regularly after a combo um to set up your offense afterwards so i think he just combos into fatal blow after that. i don't need to watch that again uh, but rambo looks cool he looks like i gotta be honest he looks like what i was hoping nightwolf would be like i was kind of hoping nightwolf would have more close range stuff with like some cool like built in grabs and like I kind of was hoping Nightwolf would uh, lean into his like hunter kind of uh, character and um, setting traps and stuff and they went they kind of like leaned more into his magic and with the summoning spirits and stuff like that which is cool but Rambo looks like what I was hoping Nightwolf would be so I'm actually kind of excited for him. We'll see, like, I didn't see any meter burn combo extenders. Like, the only combo extenders he got were, like, the weird traps that you're probably not going to combo into, like the Joker. Um, like, because Joker doesn't combo into the traps. He uses the traps to start the combos. And it looks like that's kind of how Rambo is. Is that he's got a bunch of traps and weird shit that starts combos, and then afterwards he can finish with a string because he's got that jab that launches. So I think the idea with Rambo is not to fish for a combo with your strings. It's to land a trap and then use your jab string to relaunch and then combo again with, like, your finishing string. Um, sort of like Joker's like combo roots. It seems like that. We didn't see a whole lot of, like, extended combos. It was mostly, like, you know, Oki setups and grab setups and side swaps and traps. Um so I think I think Rambo's probably gonna be a, like a straight up like grappler. Like it looks like all three of the variations that they showed. At least I'm assuming they're all like different variations. They all wear different costumes, but all of them seem to have some kind of grab. They all seem to have some sort of move that leads into a grab animation. So it looks like he's gonna lean harder into the grappler thing. And I think that that's kind of the archetype they're going to work with with him is that he's a trap character with, or a grappling character with traps. 
that's going to be weird. I that, I don't I can't think of any character in in like fighting game history that plays like that. Uh, most of the time, a grappler is a grappler, and that's it. There are a couple of instances, like in uh, Killer Instinct, where you have a grappler that can zone, or you have a grappler with like armor moves or whatever. Um, but I don't know that I've ever seen a trap-based grappler who uses command grabs and sets traps. That's like a weird combination. Um, so that that is pretty interesting. I'm excited to see what else we can do. I'm pretty hyped for the combat cast now because I think that there's a lot to really kind of take in with Rambo and what he can do. Um, he doesn't use a whole lot of guns, which is really surprising. Like the, he only had the one move where he pulls up the machine guns and that was it. Like, I mean, Rambo's not really known for using any other guns other than those those chain guns or whatever. Like, he's not unknown. He's like he's a known soldier character, but not really a gun character. At least not in the movies. He knows how to use them, but like, you hardly see him use them. Cause he's like more of a stealth ninja, and I, I'm glad that they leaned into that. I'm glad that they leaned into Rambo being more of a stealthy martial artist because that's kind of how he's portrayed in the movies is that he's more of a stealthy hidden martial artist rather than, you know, even though people tend to think of Rambo as like this guy with big guns that just runs into a freaking, you know, bad guy base and shoots everybody, which he does, but that's not what he does the whole movie. Um, anyways, that's the Rambo trailer reaction and breakdown. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. What do you think about Rambo? Let me know in the comments below. And visit my Patreon and my OnlyFans. And look at my feet pictures. And, and my Patreon. And my feet. I'll see you guys later. Hey, so, if you, uh... Follow YouTube enough, you know that they like to put weird stuff all over the screen for the last 30 seconds. So this is going to fill that space. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably right there and there. All over the place right now. Hmm. Yeah, go ahead and click that stuff if you want. Uh... Uh, and that's 30 seconds.